I am Megan Madonna, and I am a fourth year PhD student um, working under NIMI for my PhD, and I am working the lab, part of the lab that deals with breast cancer and the diagnostics side of it, so looking at the metabolism, so how the breast cancer cells use energy in order to proliferate or just evade therapy in general. So specifically, my project deals with looking at how cancer uses different fuel sources, so sugars and fats. It's traditionally thought that all tumors really like sugar, but more research uh, is coming out now. So once tumors are treated with therapies, they can change what they prefer for their substrates. So instead of eating glucose, um, a lot of glucose they can transfer to eating fats instead. So I'm looking at different ways that we can look at how what the tumor likes to eat for fuel um, in an in vivo setting. So looking in the actual animal model to watch the tumor grow and be treated and kind of go dormant um, in a, a living intact mouse. What I'm interested in is looking at not only the primary tumor, but after women go through therapy and seeing what that residual tumor bed looks like. So that dormant tumor that maybe is a, there's a few cells spread around a woman's body that are still cancer cells that are um, virtually undetectable and sometimes, um, well often now, undetectable until it's too late. So by the time that women show um, symptoms of a recurrence, it's, it's often too late to then go back and treat those cells. So if there's a way to be able to treat those cells in a very early stage of just being dormant instead of recurring and regrowing, that's kind of where, where I think we can intervene. And this paper could be informative and it could actually like help things, but it just seems like you're just like barely moving the needle of something that is way bigger than anything else. It's, it's an impossible task for one person to do. Um, so I think like each trying to work on your individual little tiny period or sentence in a textbook that will hopefully like make up the Bible that is treating women's cancers will be helpful. But trying to think about writing the entire book is, is terrifying and it cripples you. Um, but I'm just responsible for like my one sentence.